Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a homemade functional equation. I call it homemade because I kind of came up with this idea, but obviously this was inspired by another problem, which I can't remember at this point. Hopefully you'll find out. Now, we have f of x over 3 plus 2 over x equals x squared divided by 18 plus 2 divided by x squared. So when you have a problem like this, obviously you want to get f of x. So what is the question, right? A lot of times people come in, oh, you didn't put it in the thumbnail. Hopefully this was clear because what, what can I ask for? I mean, I'll probably ask for f of x or f of 2 or f of 1, whatever. I mean, something that has to do with f. So in this case, we're going to, awesome, we're going to solve for f of x. So we'll try to find an expression. So our goal would be to turn this into a single variable. How about t? t is my favorite variable these days and obviously my favorite drink as well. So the question is then, if this equals t, I should be able to write x in terms of t so I can plug in on the right hand side. Make sense? So we're going to start by setting x over 3 plus 2 over x equal to t and I will call this the first method. Okay, let's proceed. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and solve for x. My goal is to find x in terms of t so that I can substitute on the right hand side. Does that make sense? So that's the plan. If you know what we're supposed to do, hopefully it'll be easier to follow. Now, let's go ahead and turn this into a nicer equation, maybe a polynomial equation. And we can basically multiply both sides by 3x, which is equivalent to making a common denominator, obviously. But here the 3's cancel out, we end up with x squared. The x's cancel out, we end up with 6. And we, here we get 3tx. I wanted to put the t first because 3t is the coefficient of x. And I'm going to solve this equation for x. So it is quadratic in x, right? As you can see here, this is x and this is x. Cool. How do you solve for x? Quadratic formula, right? We have a very nice formula that is very easy to hopefully memorize. I mean, compared to the cubic and quartic and quintic, quite complicated. No, it doesn't exist. But anyway, so here x will be negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 9t squared, minus 4ac, which is going to be 24. Awesome. And then what do you get from here? You get x in terms of t. Good luck with that, right? Obviously, here's uh, our next step. Since we want to find this in terms of t on the right-hand side as well, we should replace x with this. But guess what? We only have x squared on the right-hand side. Therefore, we might as well just find x squared and replace it with that instead of doing it uh, work twice. So let's take one of these values and you're going to find out if I took the other one, would that make a difference, right? If I use the minus sign, would I get a different answer in that case? Are we accepting both as solutions or this problem is not really valid and not well formed? Anyways, let's find out this one first. So I'm going to go ahead and square this. When I square, I'll get a squared, b squared, plus 2ab. That's going to give me 6t times the radical. And all of that is divided by 4. Awesome. Let's simplify this a little bit. 18t squared plus 6t times this expression right here. That's a t, not a plus sign. Be careful with that. Try to make it a little different. Minus 24. And then minus 24 outside divided by 4. You can divide by 2, which is not a huge improvement, but still works a little bit. 9t squared plus 3t. Minus 12, and all of that is divided by 2. You can even go as far as 9 halves, so on and so forth, but no big deal. That's not necessary. Let's go ahead and rewrite this problem with the t on the left and the x, x expression on the left, on the right. So we have f of t equals, what did I have on the right hand side? x squared over 18 plus 2 over x squared, right? Was that right? Okay, I think so. Cool. Now, here's what we should do take this x squared and plug it in here and here, right? That's what we have. That's going to be a lot of work, isn't it? 
But here's the thing. I need to divide by 18. So I might as well just do it separately. And then I need to divide 2 by this. So let's go ahead and do that first. This, that looks a little more complicated. So 2 over x squared is just going to be 2 times the reciprocal of x squared, which is 2 over 9t squared plus 3t times 9t squared minus 24. This is kind of painful, isn't it? That's why it's the first method. Anyways, we get a 4 here. So 4 over this radical. And at this point, you probably want to... Uh, and did I miss anything? Oh, yes. There's a minus 12 there, which I forgot to write. Minus 12, minus 12. Here we go. I knew the expression was a little longer. Now, that's my 2 over x squared. And what I'm supposed to do is add x squared over 18 to this. So we, we're going to add 18 times this to this. So we might as well just simplify this a little bit before we add them. Uh, like maybe uh, rationalize the denominator or something, right? How do you rationalize something like this? Let's talk about it briefly. Because I don't really want to get into the depth here. That will be too long. But I'll show you the method. Hopefully you can complete the rest. Okay, so... Here's our expression, put this in parentheses, so that's kind of like an A plus B. And the conjugate for A plus B is A minus B, of course part of it is radical. So you should multiply by 9t squared minus 12, and I'm probably going to have to move the stuff a little bit to the left, yes. And then multiply by 9t squared minus 12, that's a fixed part, minus, change that sign to a minus sign, and then when you multiply these two things, what are you going to get, right? And it's the same thing. But when you multiply these two things, they're conjugates. So at the bottom, you should be getting something like this. Let me rewrite this. Oops. And the bottom part is going to be the product of these two things, which is going to give me difference of two squares. This is the fun part because you're going to be getting something like this. Okay. And then from here, Notice that this is going to give you a to 1t to the 4th. This is going to give you minus a to 1t to the 4th. They're going to cancel out, and hopefully more terms are going to combine, and so on and so forth. And when you add the other term, you should be getting something real simple, right? That part is left as an exercise for you. Please don't hate me for that, because I'm ready to show you the second method. Okay, I, can't, I just can't wait. So here's the second method. So we have f of x over 3, and hopefully you'll understand the underlying issues with the first method. When you see the second method, hopefully things will be more clear. Obviously, this doesn't always apply, but it will apply in this case. So I'm looking at the expression inside the parentheses carefully, and I'm still going to call that t, but we'll not, we're not going to substitute it, or we're not going to solve a crazy quadratic. Here's what I'm going to do instead. Set this equal to t. And square both sides. Because I noticed, obviously I made up the problem, so I already know the solution, right? I noticed, let's set, pretend I noticed, uh, that when I square this expression, I get this, right? Plus 2ab. And that's equal to t squared. x cancels out, and I end up with something like x squared over 9 plus 4 over x squared plus 4 over 3 equals t squared. So here's what I notice. If I take this expression, that's how I came up with the problem, so that's kind of like uh, give you an idea. If I multiply this by one half, I'm going to get this. Isn't that beautiful? That's how this problem came about. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to isolate this, t squared minus 4 thirds, and then I will multiply both sides by one half, and obviously you can do it. It's valid, right? And then this is going to give me x squared over 18 plus 2 over x squared equals 1 half of t squared. You can obviously write this as t squared over 2 minus 2 thirds. And then I'm just going to go ahead and plug it into my expression directly. Let's erase this area and just plug it in and see what happens, okay? What am I plugging in? I'm plugging in basically this one for the expression. So f of t from here is going to be x squared over 18 plus 2 over x squared, which is this one, t squared over 2 minus 2 thirds. And obviously, if you wanted to replace x, t with x, you could write it in terms of x. And at this point, the variables do not matter. Don't worry about it too much. 
and this would be the answer. If you did the work with the first method, you should get the exact same thing, but that's a lot of work, so that's left as an exercise. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.